Hi guys. Um, so I am doing a tag video that was um, put up by Samantha March, who I absolutely love. She's like, I don't want to say simple because I feel like there's so many better words to use than just simple. She's a very down to earth YouTuber and she's sort of just like a brass tacks kind of chick. You know what I mean? Like, she tells it like it is. So I really, really like her. And when I saw that she did this video, it really sparked a lot of interest in me because I feel like the beauty industry is growing so much and we have so many brands out there and you could never, ever, ever, ever buy it all. So you have to really pick and choose. I mean, well, either you can be an over consumerist and have so much makeup in your house that you can't walk and no money <laughs> from buying it all or um or uh you know um just don't buy anything and and you know we're here on youtube we love makeup we love trying new things obviously we like trying new looks what do you guys think of this this is my version of like a simple saturday sort of i'm calling it a boy beat i don't know i kind of flared out my eyebrows and did, I actually did, I don't know if you could tell, but I did um, freckles. And this is actually powder foundation, which is like a trip to the Wayback Machine. I haven't worn powder foundation since I was in my 30s. Um, okay, so let's talk about brands that excite me. Okay, so it's a 5-5 five, five video. Five brands that excite me, five brands that no longer excite me or maybe ha are disinteresting me, I will say. So the brands that are really exciting me right now are Milk Makeup. I absolutely love the minimalism of that makeup brand. I love the packaging. I love that... It looks good on on a 20 year old skin and here I am over 50 years old and it looks amazing on my skin um, I think milk makeup would probably be a brand that a lot of people who were my age might shy away from but this is their blush stick on my cheek um, this is a milk highlighter on my cheek um, this is the blush is uh, work and um, this is the, um, it's, I think it's called a glow stick. I'll do a review of Milk Makeup, but I really love all their products. I have not tried their foundation. Like I said, I've been experimenting a lot with powder foundations, but I really, really do like Milk Makeup as a brand. They excite me. When I see that something new is coming out, like their mascaras, I love their mascara. I don't have any mascara on right now but I love their mascara. It's one of the few mascaras out there that doesn't irritate my eyes. Another brand that really excites me is Melt Makeup. I loved their stacks for the last like two or three years. Now they've been coming out with palettes. You had the 21 palette. You had the, um, what was the other palette that was super popular? I have it, I love it. I can't think right now, um, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It, it, was put out there and hyped up and then it sold out and I think they re um stocked it once but it's a great palette um Natasha Denona I love the Biba palette I have what else do I have I don't have the gold palette but I'm seriously thinking about buying it during VIB um I have the star palette I have the Lila palette I have the Sunset Palette, technically, I probably don't need any more Natasha Denona palettes. They're really, really wonderful palettes. I think the next thing I might buy from them, because I kind of regret not getting those their holiday palettes. They were holiday five-pan palettes. Um, another brand that excites me is Jeffree Star. I mean, he's coming out with face products now. I don't get all political when it comes to YouTube. Like, I'm just not... I could care less about all the drama. I don't really care what someone's opinions on vaccinating their own children is. That's their 
you know, I don't care about someone's sexuality. I don't care about the drama. I don't care about it. I think it's silly. I don't care about someone's religious beliefs. Like, it's just make makeup. If you make good makeup, I could care less about your personal life. Um, I really like at the drugstore. So the, let's see, that's four brands. And then um, I guess the next brand that really excites me is Nude Sticks. I love the um, the cheek stick products. I'm just obsessed with. And then um, Marc Jacobs always excites me. Sorry, that's six. But then I just wanted to like mention the drugstore version brands that really excite me. Um, L'Oreal, Flower, Bite Beauty, ColourPop. Elf is always one of those products that still excites me. Um, Glossier, Glossier. I want to try more. I should say that I have three, two brands that I want to try more before I determine whether or not they still excite me. Thrive and Glossier. Let's get to the brands that don't excite me or are not currently exciting me. And the reason why I'm mentioning them, mentioning them is they are brands that I like. They're just not doing it for me lately. And I wish that they would come out with some new things or be more innovative, or just don't come out with the same things over and over and over and over again, because I'm over that. I'm over brands coming out with the same things over and over again. I hate to say this because I absolutely love Marlene um, from Makeup Geek, but I feel like that brand is just getting stale. I feel like it's the same thing over and over again. I'm glad that she's in Target now, and she's going to be more access um, accessible, but I don't know. I feel like Makeup Geek has never really promoted their brushes, which I think are nice, but she never talks about them. I wish that they would come out with kits. I feel like when they do come out with like kits, it's like stuff that's already been out. Like I wanna see new things. I wanna see new types of palettes. I wanna see them push their brushes more. I feel like even whenever Marlena is talking about her stuff, she doesn't even brag about her brushes at all. Like she talks about other people's brushes. I don't know. Kat Von D. I'm sick of all the drama. I, you know, like I said, I could care less about it, but I feel like Kat Von D needs to stop doing these like massive cathedral palettes and all that stuff. Like just, and I also feel like Kat Von D should do some collabs. I feel like, yeah, they talk about their own makeup artist a lot, but they, I would love to see Kat Von D do like a movie collab. You know, like maybe something gothy. Um, I think that would be really cool. Urban Decay. The reason why Urban Decay doesn't excite me is because I feel like all they are is the same eyeshadow palette being produced over and over again. They just don't excite me. Tarte doesn't excite me. Um, now I want to mention some drugstore brands that don't excite me. I put e.l.f on the cusp of exciting me and not. Like, I feel like they need to keep keep doing what they're doing, be innovative. I love that Jay Kissa um, palette that they put out. They need to do more of that. Too Faced. I just feel like it's one big holiday palette. I don't know. <laughs> BH Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. They're not doing anything to excite me. Sleek, not exciting me. Wet and Wild, I just feel like they keep on putting the same thing out again. Makeup Revolution. I feel like they're putting out some exciting stuff. I love their Emily Noel um, collab. I think that they need to focus on doing more stuff like that. I feel like these um, kaleidoscope palettes that they came out with, it's like the same palette <clears throat> over and over again. They need to make sure that they keep on innovating. I don't know. So there you have it. Those those are my brands that excite me most and my brands that don't excite me. And I have to say, as I am determining what I want my makeup collection to look like in the future, I'm not going to be hanging on to brands that don't excite me anymore. I just, I don't want makeup that bores me anymore. I want it out of my drawers. I want it out of my life, you know? I want things that make my current skin look good. I want my skin to look fresh and vibrant, and I want makeup that supports that at any age. So, yeah, that's my take on it. 
So um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm going to be putting out some other tag videos. I'm going to do the Georgia Harris um, My Makeup Collection tag. But yeah, this tag was um, something that um, Sarah Mar Samantha March created. I love her. If you're not already familiar with her, um, you should check out her channel. Okay, that's it. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.